Hello everybody out there. Um, I know this is going to be a little strange coming from me and I know everything is kind of out of proportion. Um, I'm actually shooting this on a different laptop than I normally shoot on. So it's going to be a little different. Yes, you can see my microphone right there. Who cares? I, I don't. <clears throat> um, because I don't have the editing software that I used to have. I have on my regular laptop, so you're not going to see the intro, and I'm sorry about that, but I wanted to do a video today because um, it's comic day, and today was a very special comic, <clears throat> and it's very special to me because of the memories I have of the, the cartoon. Um, it was a cartoon I used to watch with my sister all the time. Even though we kind of fought over the remotes and everything. And I've actually been watching this show on Netflix. Trying to get everything, trying to get, you know, marathoning it. And I, this comic is amazing. Let's put it that way. Um, like I said, I don't have my regular software. So I got to hold everything up, you know. Show you all the pages, show you what I love, and everything about this comic. Because this comic, <laughs> they did something that I thought I was going to hate. Um, the series has a very special place in my heart. And because of that, I was kind of hesitant to pick up the first issue. I picked it up. I'm not going to look for it right now. Um, because I don't have editing software, so I can't just end this and start back up, and I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but this is the second issue, and the first issue introduced you to the holograms, which was actually pretty cool. However, this issue is actually shows you um, the, the rival and that's the Misfits. Look at those designs. That's Roxy. She was in the cartoon. As was Stormer. Look at that. Look at the different. Look at that. A nice big woman in a comic book. Nice, be uh, beautiful woman. Right there. Vrunchous and everything in a comic book. That's what I love to see. <laughs> I'm probably going to get like some things oh, you got her big and everything, but you know what? She's amazing. She's one of my favorites. She was one of my favorites in the show because she wasn't like totally evil like everybody, like every other misfit. But she was definitely um, a misfit, so. And then you got uh, Jetta, who I don't, I don't remember from the cartoon series, so she might be an original creation. Um, or I might just have not got gotten to her again. And then one of my fa another one of my favorites from the show, Pizzazz. <laughs> Look at that art. Um I wish I could show you like <clears throat> some like really cool <clears throat> comparisons between the book and the TV show. I might actually do that in a later video once I get my la regular laptop back. <clears throat> but um I just want to gush over this book. I'm sorry. You're going to get like about five minutes of me gushing over this book because it's amazing. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. One of my favorite scenes. Um, they did do a lot of changes, which I thought was awesome. I might have to get another copy now and put it in things and start doing what I do with Spider-Gwen with this series. But <clears throat> um, they did a lot of changes. Um, one of my biggest ones is that um, they don't have Starlight House. They actually have a thing called um, the Starlight Community Center. I think that's what it's called in here. Let me see if I can find it. Um, um, sorry, like I can't, I can't find it at the moment. So. Um, I know it's in here somewhere. 
What was that? Sorry. <clears throat> it does have some of my favorite scenes though. I thought I'd seen it in here. Actually, yeah, right here. Um, but um, the one thing I like, it does have a lot of the characters from the cartoon and some of my favorites. It has uh, Benet. Bunny, I mean, I'm sorry, I mispronounced that. Bunny, she was one of my favorites in the cartoon show, even though she was a kid. And um, Ashley. You can see, like, uh, actually, I'm sorry, Ashley's down here, right there. <clears throat> she actually be um, goes with the misfits for a little bit, and then she finds out that what she, they were doing was wrong, and everything. Um, <clears throat> there's a couple of difference between the, the comic and, and the, the TV in the cartoon, and a lot of them are welcome. Um, in this, in the comic universe, the misfits are already big, and the cartoon they weren't. They were trying to compete with gem for a contract um <clears throat> but um yeah and in this rio is a reporter is a journalist which i find interesting um he's actually doing a, a story about the misfits and everything and I, I just find it amazing that he he coming to gem and everything <clears throat> but a lot of the same stuff that happens i mean look at this this is how they do the the, the like the music scene in here Look at that artwork. That is beautiful. And the story is amazing. Like it's setting you every everything up right now. But you know, you can you can tell that a lot of effort and a lot of love and care went into this. Um I like how they do uh Lindsay in in this she's actually in the in the cartoon, she's actually like the MTV type record um reporter in there and then you can actually here's the difference this is the i wish i would have it better for you but that's the misfits right there i mean look how dark and everything that is and that's awesome because this is what the misfits was about um they were more of the punk type music on the show and they were always talking about like stuff like that but i love how they do that <clears throat> i love that this is I'm, I'm sorry this is an amazing comic like I'm gonna spoil it all for you right now, just so you, so you can see. I mean, there's there's the gem thing again. I mean, look how amazing that is. <clears throat> and the one thing they do is they actually use like in the TV show because it was done in the '80s. They couldn't, they didn't have stuff like Twitter and YouTube back then. So <clears throat> a lot of it, they they had to actually go places and do promos type stuff and <clears throat> everything and this they're doing a community show because Starlight um, Community House is something that they're, um, Jerrica's parents believed in and she wants to continue that legacy and I find that amazing but um, <clears throat> I'm actually gonna stop my gushing for now um, I'm gonna do a, a, a side, side by side comparison uh, once I get my laptop back because I, I find this amazing and um, I want to send my love out to um, the writer actually, um, Kelly Thompson. She did amazing work writing this, and also love out to Sophie Campbell because she did an awesome art job at the artwork. And this is coming from female creators here, which I love. This is amazing. This is what we need more of in the industry. And I do thank you for this. This is, I can tell a lot of love went into this comic, and I'm actually overjoyed that this is there. But for now, um, I have to go. Um, it's going on ten minutes, and I've just been gushing over this book, and but it deserves it. Like I said, I'll do a side by side comparison of all the changes from the comic to the um the TV show and show you like some of the stuff that they kept the same and a lot of the stuff that they kept they did differently but I just wanted to show you this again because this is what I love the best in this right there or oh, I'm sorry right there Stormer 
she's amazing. She looks amazing, and I, I, I can't stop gushing about that. And I'm going to stop right now, so it's time to close this world to open the next.